Hey everyone, it's Denise Donahue, your favorite mortgage nerd. I wanted to bring you guys a couple tips to help you sell more real estate. And I think that this is going to be a program that whether you're a buyer's agent or a listing agent, you need to know about because it definitely will help you in 2019. So one of the biggest rebuttals we've been hearing over the last few months is because interest rates have gone up a little bit, they've gone down since the first, so that's good. But because they've gone up from where they've been three, four, five years ago, you're having people call you saying they're thinking of selling and buying, but when they get pre-qualified, they don't really like that payment because they thought that they could buy more home. And because rates have gone up a little bit, they're not really able to. So I want to share this strategy with you guys. If you have any questions about it, let me know because this is something you guys need to know to help you guys sell more real estate. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. So we pre-qualified a client. We had a client that was sent to us and essentially the other lender, um, they were using a friend of theirs at a bank and the other lender said that they were only able to buy a home. Their max purchase price would be 360,000 with 5% down. And the client was really upset about that because especially in our area, that's a little tough to buy. The whole point of them thinking of selling and buying was because their family size had grown and they really wanted an extra bedroom. And at the 360,000 mark, they weren't able in this area to buy that five bedroom home because there wasn't much that they liked in that 360,000 price range. So the agent said, you know what? I think you should contact my lender. Um, and we were able to use our program. It's a 5% down, no PMI. And so this program saved them $196 a month because at 5% down, normally there would be that monthly PMI. So we eliminated that and it allowed them to go up to a 400,000 sales price. So now they were able to shop in a higher price point and get that fifth, fifth bedroom. But what if you have a seller and they can't get their house sold or you're starting to hear more and more, well, this is just out of our um, payment range. Do you advise your seller to drop the sales price or can you offer to pay concessions? This is something that you would want to utilize in the private remarks because here's what's crazy. On a $400,000 purchase price, let's say, a seller could offer a $6,000 seller concession to remove the PMI, the monthly PMI, and that would equate to about $40,000 $40, in a price reduction. So let me say that again. You could offer $6,000 in a seller concession, and that would eliminate about $200 a month to the monthly payment. And if you were to try to translate that into just a price reduction, you would have to lower the price of a home by $40,000 to get that same $200 a month savings. That's because the math works out that $196 in this scenario was the monthly PMI. It takes $40,000 to lower the payments or you can buy out the PMI. Buying out the PMI is like buying a car outright and paying for that asset up front versus financing it. If you finance it, you're gonna have a monthly payment. But if you buy it out, then of course there's no monthly payments. The same thing that works in mortgages, but a lot of lenders don't utilize this program, which is why it's so important you hire me, the mortgage nerd, because we can help you buy and sell more real estate. So give me a call, shoot me an email or a text. I hope the strategy helps. And you guys know how to get a hold of me. Y'all take care and kick butt in 2019. Bye bye.